All right, so I just arrived here in Florence, Colorado, and I'm at the Elks Lodge. I'm by myself right now. This is the first video to the Alone in the Dark series. We're gonna walk in. Are you ready? Oh my God. Yeah, I am ready. Goodbye. Good luck, Connor. Thanks. Oh my God, I can't believe this is happening right now. If you want me to go to the end of the hallway down there where I keep hearing those noises at you, you've got to make something go off or make a noise so I know. Yes. Oh my God. Am I in danger? I'm Connor Biddle. As a young boy, my family moved into a seemingly ordinary house. It held secrets beyond imagination. It was there that I first encountered the supernatural, an experience that would stay with me for a lifetime. From that moment on, my fascination with the paranormal was born. Over the years, I've dedicated myself to capturing the unexplained on camera. It's lighting up, yeah. awesome. Join me as I spend the night in places where the lines between our world and the unknown blur, aiming to document every chilling encounter. Do you want me to come back there? Yes. Oh my God. If you're ready, it's time to spend the night with me inside some of the most haunted locations across the country. Welcome to my paranormal encounters. Welcome back to this YouTube channel, guys. For this episode this week, this is something a little bit different. This is not a brand new episode, but this is an episode that was filmed a couple years ago. Tonight, we're going to the Elks Lodge in Florence, Colorado, where I spend an entire night alone in a haunted brothel. Some of you have been following this YouTube channel, kind of already know about this location because this place is where I believe I, I garnered a, a attachment following me around to several locations thereafter for about a year and a half. I've been kind of hiatus from YouTube for since February. That was the last episode I released. And I've had a lot of stuff going on in my personal life outside of YouTube channel. Um, and I literally survived a tornado about a week and a half ago. It came through Portage, Michigan and wiped out a bunch of the area and my apartment was literally in the path of the tornado and it destroyed my apartment, my car, and it took me some time to recoup from that. That weekend, I was planning to go film an episode to Paranormal Encounters and that obviously delayed everything. I needed to get a new car and just kind of relax a little bit. It was, it was a huge experience to go through. It was one of my biggest fears, honestly. Starting tomorrow, which is today is Monday, Tuesday, we, I'm going to hit the road again to film more episodes of Paranormal Encounters. We're getting back into weekly episodes here on YouTube. And as of right now, the moment of this video is being released, videos are gonna be coming out at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on this channel. So make sure you set that reminder and know that every Saturday, spooky Saturdays are back. I can't wait to take you guys to some of the locations I got going to. Not only are we going to some places you guys might have already seen, but we're going to two new locations that I don't think anyone on YouTube has really shown. And I don't want to give out too much information, but one of the locations I'm planning to go to has real human remains, brains and stuff inside this location. And it's absolutely morbid. It's, it's a really creepy looking place. Wait till you guys see that episode, which is coming here in the next couple of weeks. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button. If you're not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. My goal for the end of this year is to hopefully hit 70,000 subscribers, if not 100,000 subscribers. Every comment, like, and share to these videos help this channel out so much. Without further ado, let's get into this location and let's do it. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna set up the EDI Plus. What this does is it measures temperature it also measures vibration and atmospheric um, pressure change. So this is pretty much the same thing as what the cat ball does. When the cat ball lights up, is measuring some kind of vibration touching it to set off the cat light. And this will also indicate it too by, by the bottom light right here. It tells you the temperature and then you've got the EMF meter right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this up right behind you, Steven. Set this up right here. So, when you walk by it, did it light up? Cat ball lights up, and you've got the change from walking. So I'll be able to see visually somebody walking up near me in any of this hallway area. 
And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the REM pod. I'm gonna set up the REM pod right here. We're gonna change the range. So the range is a little bit farther this time. I've also got a ghost tube, which I'm gonna start rolling on right now. And now we are officially rolling here on ghost tube. And I'm gonna put ghost tube in airplane mode. So nobody can call me and there's no cellular or Bluetooth connection to this phone now. So. We're gonna lock you in. Are you ready? Oh my God. Yeah, I am ready. Okay. All right. Let's go. Let's, Let's do this. Good luck. Goodbye. Good luck, Connor. Thanks. Poor guy. Oh my God. She just said, poor guy. Okay. I'm gonna put ghost tube down here on the floor. And you can hear them locking the door over there. It's done. They are locked, they locked the door. Poor bastard. Now I'm officially locked up in this room right now on the third floor by myself. I have a static night vision camera here. I've got ghost tube running right here in the floor. I got the EVI plus with the cap all right there. So I'll visually see if somebody comes at me and I also have one on this side as well too, which is the REM pod. So now I've got a little, little light so I can see if, if something freaks me out. I think that's what I'm going on the stairs. I just heard that creaky noise right there. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of, Kind of freaked out here. There's no India, it's just literally me up here. And it's not just a 10 minute solo, it's me doing a solo the entire time I'm up here. I'm calling out to the spirits of the Elks Lodge third floor brothel. I am up here alone. I was here last time months ago. I don't know if you remember me. When we did the SS method, you told me free next time, baby. So I didn't bring money this time, but I do got money if you do need that to talk. But I figured instead of payment, since you said it's free next time, baby, let's, let's just communicate. Let me get to know you and get to know your story. I have a device here on the floor right in front of me. We call this ghost tube. You can use that to communicate and tell me words or your name or anything you want to say to me. Can you tell me your name? Is there anyone here? My name is Connor. Can I know who, who's up here? Can I know your name? Just heard a noise back there. Down the other hallway. Just heard a noise back there. Down the other hallway. Was that you that made that noise just a second ago? I'm not sure if that got picked up on the camera audio down there on the tripod. Oh God, I heard it. it's walking. Is that you walking to me? Is that you? Light. Light. It says light. What light? Are... EVI Plus is going crazy right now with the temperature. It was just going crazy. It's going up and down. I got a light. I see, it's a little red light in my hand. Is that what you're talking about? Or are you talking about one of my, one of these little devices on the floor? There's literally something back there right now.
There's literally walking. Okay, the vibe in this place just changed. I got a red little light right there, if that's what you're talking about. If you go near that red light right there in the floor, right here, it'll light up. So I know that's you back there. Can you come this way? There's literally something back there. Somebody back there? Oh my God. Hello? Who's back there? I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm kind of freaked out. Can you make a loud noise back there? It's definitely gotten a little bit colder up here. It looks like it's 63 degrees right now. I keep hearing something on the other end of the hallway down there. Where that tripod's at is facing me, but when it was facing to the right of the camera is where we captured the REM pod and footsteps. The last time we were here, we left the camera rolling while we went out to dinner. And now I'm hearing noises back at the end of the hallway again. It's a light. That's the only thing I said just a second ago. Light. Can you tell me your name? Do you want me to come back there? If you want... If you want me to go to the end of the hallway down there where I keep hearing those noises that you, you've got to make something go off or make a noise so I know. Yes. Oh my God. The ghost who just said yes. Okay, I literally have chills going down my body right now. Okay. <laughs> I cannot believe that. Oh, okay, you asked for it, I'm going down there. I'm gonna take ghost tube. Oh my God, I can't believe this is happening right now. Oh, I hit that log down on the ground. Turn this camera. Okay, I'm coming down here, you said. Can't see what I'm doing, so I'm gonna hold the flashlight while I'm walking. Is there somebody down here? You said yes, you want me down this hallway, so where should I stop at? This is absolutely kind of crazy. This is the hallway. Chair. Jesus. God. Scared me, man. Chair. There's no chair down here, is there? There's no chair down here to sit on. That's what you want me to do. I don't see a chair. You tell me to go get a chair and sit down here? So right now I'm gonna go get a chair and I'm gonna get the EDI plus and everything and I'm gonna sit up at this hallway. Because apparently they want me to come down to this hallway. Let 
don't know how I'm going to carry all this, but I'll try. Definitely not what I want to do, but I'll do it. Okay. I'm going to go get my stuff real quick here, okay? side so I'm against the wall okay oh, shoot put ghost tube here in the floor all right so now I'm down here at the end of the hallway like you asked me to I've got my stuff down here this is the hallway where Steven heard footsteps run up at him. I was hearing all those noises down here a minute ago too. And then he told me he wanted me to come down here. Why do you want me down here? I got a chair I'm sitting on right now. I'm trying to get comfortable down this hallway. I've got two devices, like I said. Right there, that little red light, if you go near it, that little silver antenna thing, that will light up colors of lights. Like you said earlier, light, and it will let me know that you're there. And then I also have a thing called an EDI Plus that has numbers on the screen right there with a cat ball, a little silver looking clear plastic ball thing. Those will let me know you're there as well. And then I have this device called Ghost Tube. You've already been using it to communicate, but is it has a word database in there that will let you use words to tell me things like your name or what you want me to do. Just trying to calm my nerves right now. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to calm down. Oops. It's actually kind of freaky. It's pretty quiet up here too besides some of the ambient noises outside. So my name is Connor. Let's start with the basics. What danger? Danger. Oh shit. What's danger? Of course, ghost who would say danger as I'm down here at the end of the hallway. Of course it would say that. And my light my light wasn't even on. Be danger if I didn't have my light on, so I can't see what I'm doing. What's danger? Am I in danger? This is probably one of the freakiest things I have done in a long time. I heard you can run up on people, whoever you are. I'm in the hallway where Steven got ran up on by somebody or something. Can you run at me? Can you make a noise or slam something? There's a cut in that door over there. It looked like somebody was hanging outside the door, staring. Look, I wanna show you the devices I brought up here that I was just talking about. This guy will light up if you go near it. This guy will show me your footsteps and this will light up. So let me just put this ball right here. Actually, let's put it right here by this door. And you can use those devices to communicate with me.
You wanted me to come down this hallway, so what was it for? What, what was the reason? You said danger. That's the only thing you've said. I'm hearing like a subtle like noise. I can't tell exactly where it's coming from or if it's just something natural up here. It's like a subtle, like, cracking noise, sort of. Are you up here still or no? Here, let's try something, okay? If you don't want to use my devices, let's try something you should already know how to do. When I knock, can you repeat it? Where are you? There's more noises again, but now they're down the other end of the hallway where I just came from. It's like playing cat and mouse. You want me to go down this hallway, grab a chair. I sat up a chair, said danger. Now it's making noises on the other end of the hallway. Was that you? Said danger. Now it's making noises on the other end of the hallway. Hello? Oh my God, my battery is just now on one level. It's just drained. Oh man, I don't have another camera to show this. Let me see if I can show the camera down here, but this camera was just at three bars and now it's drained down to one bar. Can you even see this? Look at that. Well, I don't know if that was me, but the cat ball is lighting up right now. That had to have been me walking by it. No, it wasn't me, but I'm walking by it. I'm not even moving. I'm standing still. Is that you making the cap all go off? Can you, the camera can't see this. Cap ball is going off. Can you make it light up one more time? Thank you. Can you go down there to the end of the hallway and make the uh, REM pod down there light up? Yes, now the cat ball's not gonna light up anymore. Now it'll light up. Could be because it's on this, this thin piece of wood. It could have been me, that cat ball going off. But I was standing still for a minute too and it still went off. It's going off now, I'm not even moving. Standing still. Play. Play? Oh my God. I just heard play come through the ghost tube and at the same time, the EMF meter just lit up on the ghost tube like as if something broke the EMF field on the, on the ghost tube. Yeah, you wanna play? We can play. Tell me what you wanna play. I walk over here to this camera to start showing the battery life and stuff starts going off as I walked away. It didn't even want me down this hallway, just wanted my stuff down this hallway. I'll play. What do you, what do tomorrow. you? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? I can't play tomorrow, I'm leaving tonight. I can't play tomorrow, we gotta play tonight. Hey, do you want to play right now? I can't play tomorrow. I'm going home in a few hours. 
Yeah, my main camera right now is literally dying so fast. It's kind of crazy. Let's see where I'm going. I'm walking by the cat ball and it's not even going off. Hey, can you uh, can you tell me my your name? Who wants to play? I can't play with you if you don't tell me your name. Are you still up here? You know what I found that was actually kind of weird now I'm thinking about it as I'm standing here? I don't think I've ever had ghost tube go off and make the EMF indicator go off with it at the same exact time. Cause I've even walked with it and it said words and it's never used the EMF at the same time. Cause that's why we use the REM pod. REM pod creates an EMF field around it. And when it's broken, that's what creates the lights. And that's the same thing with the EDI meter is they say the ghosts are made of some kind of electromagnetic energy. And whenever the words keep coming through in ghost tube, it keeps setting off the built-in EMF meter on ghost tube as well. It's kind of weird. You know, you, you kind of talked more when I wasn't really in this hallway. You said chair, I got a chair and sat here and I walked away to go down and into this hallway again. And you started making all this stuff go off. You started talking more. Do you just not want me down this hallway? What was that? What was that? I don't know what the hell that was. I just heard a pounding noise, which probably wasn't picked up on the camera audio, and I heard a buzzing noise. Hello? Is that you making the noise? I think I'm gonna have to take a break for a second here. I do got an extra battery I need to put into this camera because this camera's got 16 minutes until it's dead dead. And I don't want this camera to die on me. Hello? Louder. Louder? <sighs> what do you want louder? You want me to be louder when I'm talking? This is crazy. Okay, I gotta put a new battery in my camera because it's dying really fast for whatever reason, if that's you or something, but I'll be just a second, okay? I'm gonna step over here. I'm gonna put a new battery in, in my camera right here and then um, we'll get back to this and figure out if I should take a break here for a second or continue communication. I'm gonna put a new battery in my camera. Feel free to use those devices at the end of the hallway. Okay. All right, stopping this camera. Be back in just a second. My audio is still going to be rolling here. Is anyone down at the end of this hallway? I wouldn't come down here last time. And now I'm down here. Can you imagine this place being a brothel over a hundred years ago? kind of crazy to think that this place used to be a hotel and this used to be the brothel floor. Can you tell me who- Greetings. Oh my God. Well, hello. I was just getting ready to ask whose room this was. Can you tell me whose room this is? And greetings to you back. 
My name is Connor. I'm not sure if you get many visitors, but if you do remember me, if you talked to me last time, I was here a while ago, earlier this year, and someone or a couple of you fancied me, so I decided to come back and try my luck with you again. So I figured instead of money this time, I can pay you with giving you some of my time and you can hopefully give me some of your time and tell me more about you. You seem awfully quiet right now. Oh, I, f I ran into the chair. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Who I'll is he? Who is he? <laughs> well, I'm Connor. Hope he thought that was funny, me running into that chair right there. That's probably why you said chair earlier, because you knew I would run into this chair. I'm Connor. If you want to know who I am, who are you? Did you use I'm lost. You're lost? I'm sorry, how can I help, find, help you find your way? That's weird. You're lost? Are you stuck here? I don't, I don't know how I can help you if you don't tell me. How can I help you? Let me help you find your way. If, are you trying to find the light? Hello? Where are you trying to go? Pick up ghost tube. I'm actually gonna pick up the REM pod real quick because I don't think it's been working. Here, I have an idea, okay? You said that you're lost, but let me show you something. I've got this ball. You see this glowing thing in my hand? If you can see this, this is where I am. I'm gonna set this on the floor. Turn the EDI Plus around. If you can see that glowing, that's where I am. You shouldn't be lost if you can see that. You should be able to help find your way over here. All right, I'm gonna stop ghost tube. Okay. I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna try the ghost tube Vox. And what that is, is just pretty much like a spirit box. I'm gonna try to see if I can hear someone's voice. All right, I got this device in my hand that'll let me hear you. Is there anybody up here with me right now? You can use this device in my hand to talk to me. What's your name? Who needs help? Hello? Who needs help? Oh my God, that just said, hey. God, that just gave me really bad chills. Holy crap. Who was that? 
Who just said, hey? That was cool, but very spooky at the same time, because I'm up here alone. Who needs help? Hey! Oh my god, that just said, hey. Hello? It just went quiet. It literally just stopped. Okay, there we go. <sighs> oh my god. There's something about hearing voices that are more, more freaker than lights. Can you tell me your name? I didn't hear. I didn't hear that because I was taking a footstep. Are you someone that used to work on this floor? Hello. Who said hey? Whose room was this? Somebody said, hey, right here. You need help? Who needs help? Quit. Quit? Quit what? What is your name? Who ran at Steven from down this hallway? Whose room was this one? This looks like a nice room. Georgia? Georgia? I, did it just say George? Did it just say, did it just say Georgia? Whose room was this one? This looks like a nice room. Georgia? Georgia? Some of this is playing right now. I won't be able to hear in person, so I will have to hear this back when I play it. When I play this, when I play this video back, I'm not hitting that damn chair again. Are you still up here in the third? I almost sound like I said get out. I don't know because I was talking. Let's have fun today. That's really creepy. Oh my god. I almost like I said get out. I don't know because I was talking. Hold that. Let's have fun today. That's really creepy. Just stopped. Ghost box. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check my um lavalier. We've been up here for over an hour by ourselves up in this brothel well. Tiffany and Steven have been downstairs <laughs> locked up here for over an hour now. And it's been a very active one hour. I keep looking at myself at my static camera right there because I'm trying to see if there's anything that's going to come running up behind me because it just said running earlier when Steven and Tiffany and I were doing a little walkthrough up here. I think I'm going to wrap up this investigation. You guys will have to let me know in the comment section what you think about this video, if you like this video. If you do like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up on this video. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. We would greatly, seriously appreciate it. We're trying to hit 50,000 subscribers before the end of this year. And if we can do that, it'll be so amazing, seriously. And we'll have something special that we'll be doing when we do hit that, that milestone. 
So plenty more videos to this series on the way. I feel like I had some really good responses here. The last time I was here, it was great, but I really think this was really cool and actually very creepy about some of the stuff I captured here while I was doing the solo. Share this video out with all your friends and on social media that helps our channel out so much, so much more than what probably seems it does. And I'm gonna get out of here and I'm gonna, I hope Tiffany and Steven didn't actually lock the door because if they did, I have to scream three times for them to let me out. So I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna head back to Denver, Colorado. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.